Hey, this is Ryan Cavino with Northeast Realty Partners and RyanCavinoRealEstate.com bringing you the South Boston condo market for the week ending November 24th. You know we go Wednesday to Wednesday and a little bit of a busy week here. Five new listings, three under agreement, and five sold in the past seven days. Three of the new uh, listings are a renovation project that appears to be completed on Old Harbor uh, this is uh, one of the, the units that's in there. It says that um, this is unit four, and uh, only three of them are on the market, so I'm not sure if there's a fourth one coming or if he's keeping a fourth one. Uh, I just don't know, but you can see this property was renovated nicely. Uh, we got decks, we got fireplaces, new windows, Howard floors, um, stainless steel appliances. I imagine there's a dishwasher right in here. Just a, a good-looking property that has uh, great views. So those are offered at 349, 369, 389. We got the 66 Athens Street and this is bank owned. It, it was on the market for a while. Let's see where it started at. 339 um, is where it started at and they tried a lot of different real estate companies here. We got Good Neighbor for 32 days. We got Gibson Sotheby's for 95 days. We're back with Good Neighbor for 71 days. And then we're back with Gibson Sotheby's for 92 days. And now we are um, expired, bank owned, and now back on the market at 229. So I think that uh, this should probably be getting some offers soon. One of the problems we have with this property is that there's a very low owner occupancy ratio at 66 Athens Street. Therefore, uh, FHA financing will probably not work and we'll have to go with uh, conventional financing and that may require five to ten percent down which is probably the problem because at 229 you imagine that that would be a first-time home buyer price point and uh, first-time home buyers can have the option of using I mean, any home buyer for that matter can have the option of using FHA which gives you the lowest amount of money to put down that's three and a half percent so this is roughly a 750 square foot condo and it does have some nice finishes, some granite, it has some older stainless steel, it has some nice appliance, um, some nice hardwood floors and a two living level unit. So um, it is a nice property, I just think it's running into problems because of the financing. So under agreement, we've had three properties. This um, this 730 East 5th Street, I believe, was a short sale. Yeah, yes, it was. Um, 167 Dorchester Street, the two bedroom, two bath. Very pretty looking unit, uh, 1,300 square feet. Look at this open floor plan. We get the living room here, and this is the kitchen. Um, this is the opposite view, and it appears that is the top level and is the living, living kitchen area. Here's the stairs going down to the couple of bedrooms. So that is a um, nice looking property as well. So we had two properties sell on Gates, 271 and 285. One's a two bedroom, one's a one bedroom. Let's check out the two bedroom, 285. It's about 660 square feet. The one that was the one bedroom, 271, and this is about 800 square feet. So um, big unit for uh, a one bedroom. And lastly, let's check out 88G for 565. Was uh, two and three bed, two and a half bath, duplex, private patio and deck. Check out the glass shower. That's pretty cool. And the rain shower head. And we got some nice um, sinks right here. And we spotlighted this property back in the South Boston market update a few months ago. Let's throw in all the condos in South Boston and see what's going on. All right, so we got 431, uh, I'm sorry, 248 condos on the market. And we have some very high priced ones, like for instance, this 9 West Broadway, West Broadway Unit 605 is a um, really big, wonderful 20, I'm sorry, 3,000 square foot loft, three bedrooms, three full baths, uh, huge deck. Lots of windows. Let's check out uh, when this was converted. That doesn't really say it was built in 1906. And 
and um, so let's take a look. Four hundred thirty-one thousand dollars is the average asking price for one hundred twenty-one, one hundred twenty-eight days. You can see that the under agreement properties is three thirty-two and is less market time. And then the solds this week was three oh nine and less market time. So that's what we'd like to uh, see here: is that the the trending is that the average list price uh, for under agreements is less than the asking and the average sales price is less than the under agreement and less than the average asking same with the uh, market time so that's your south boston condo market update for the weekend of november 24th you can reach me at ryan at ryancavino.com